Welcome to Geology Info. Mount St. Helens is located in Washington State, on the west coast of the United States, in a region known as the Pacific Northwest. This majestic volcanic mountain sits strategically between the cities of Seattle and Portland, just across the Oregon border. The region is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, one of the most active volcanic zones on the planet, where tectonic plates meet creating ideal conditions for intense volcanic activity. Historically, Mount St. Helens gained worldwide notoriety on May 17, 1980, when it starred in one of the most devastating eruptions in modern United States history. On that fateful day, the mountain literally lost its tops in a catastrophic explosion that caught specialists and authorities completely off guard. The event generated the largest lahar ever recorded to this day, a deadly mixture of mud and debris that descended the slopes like a destructive river. On this Tuesday morning, residents of the region woke up to a vision that left them in absolute panic. A mysterious cloud of smoke and ash completely covered Mount St. Helens, totally obscuring the mountain that normally stands out majestically on the horizon. The scene was so disturbing that many people immediately thought of the worst possible scenario. A new eruption was beginning. Social media exploded with posts from terrified residents, many questioning whether authorities were lying about the real situation of the volcano. After all, everyone knows that Mount St. Helens is in a recharging process, accumulating magma in its depths. The sight of the mountain wrapped in gray clouds brought traumatic memories of that terrible day in 1980 when 57 people lost their lives. But what was really happening this morning? Could it be new volcanic activity beginning to manifest? Or is there a much simpler and less terrifying explanation for this mysterious phenomenon that has left the entire local population in a state of maximum alert? According to the United States Geological Survey, the USGS, the official explanation is surprisingly simple. Strong winds are lifting volcanic ash that has remained on site since the 1980 eruption. This ash, deposited more than 45 years ago, is supposedly being suspended in the air by wind gusts coming from the east and southeast, being carried toward the west and northwest of the mountain. Meteorologists from Portland also spoke about the phenomenon, confirming the official version they categorically emphasized that Mount St. Helens is not erupting, and that it's just old volcanic material being redistributed through the atmosphere. Webcams installed in the region clearly show these thick ash clouds rising from the ground around the mountain, creating a visual spectacle that eerily resembles the initial moments of the historic eruption. Commercial pilots who flew over the area reported the presence of suspended ash to aviation authorities, generating safety alerts for aircraft. Although it's not an active eruption, these volcanic particles can cause severe damage to airplane engines, representing a real risk for commercial aviation in the region. The USGS issued a statement at 10.45 in the morning, Pacific local time, officially acknowledging the phenomenon. However, the local population is not buying this explanation so easily. Thousands of people are questioning on social media, if strong winds are the cause, why has this phenomenon never been observed before in more than four decades? The region is not known for being devoid of winds, especially considering its proximity to the Pacific Ocean, where air currents are constant and often intense. Popular skepticism is growing exponentially, with residents arguing that the official explanation simply doesn't make logical sense. Are authorities hiding something much more concerning? Is there some underground activity that is causing this apparently inexplicable phenomenon? The population's distrust has solid historical foundations. Mount St. Helens is a large active stratovolcano, known for its unpredictable and explosive behavior. The 1980 eruption was considered the most economically destructive volcanic event in United States history, causing devastation in an area of more than 200 square miles, 518 square kilometers. The force of the explosion was so intense that volcanic debris was found more than 20 miles, 32 kilometers, away from the epicenter. Currently, the volcano goes through alternating cycles of activity and dormancy, a behavioral pattern that keeps scientists under constant surveillance. Recent studies indicate that Mount St. Helens is in a magmatic recharging process, accumulating energy in the depths of its volcanic chambers. This process can last decades or even centuries, but will inevitably result in new eruptive activity in the future. The region where the volcano is located presents unique geological characteristics that favor intense seismic and volcanic activity. Local climatic conditions, marked by dry summers and rainy winters, create an environment where dust and debris can remain stable for long periods. 
In the last two weeks, the area received significant precipitation, followed by a dry period typical of late summer. The current phenomenon is occurring under atmospheric conditions that, theoretically, are not extraordinary for the region. Winds coming from the east are not rare, although the predominant direction is from the west, coming from the Pacific Ocean. The combination of dry soil, winds in atypical direction, and the presence of volcanic material deposited decades ago could, in theory, explain what is happening. But is there something that is not being revealed to the public? Authorities maintain all alert levels at green status, indicating absolute normality. There have been no changes in security protocols nor have preventive evacuations been ordered. Could this apparent official calm hide a much more complex and potentially dangerous reality? The truth is that even with plausible scientific explanations, Mount St. Helens behavior continues to be a mystery that defies specialists' complete understanding. The 1980 eruption was the largest in thousands of years, and since then the volcano has not shown significant eruptive activity. This long period of apparent tranquility can be deceiving as volcanoes of this magnitude frequently accumulate energy for decades before manifesting new activity. The local population's skepticism reflects a natural distrust of authorities, especially considering that the historic eruption caught everyone unprepared. The collective memory of the 1980 devastation remains alive in the region, fueling anxieties whenever any unusual phenomenon is observed. This emotional reaction is completely understandable and justified considering the historical trauma experienced by the community. Scientifically, the USGS explanation about winds redistributing old ash is technically possible, but the rarity of the phenomenon raises legitimate questions. Similar atmospheric conditions certainly occurred over four decades, making it questionable why this specific event is happening now. Factors such as soil moisture, wind intensity, and specific direction of air currents may have combined uniquely to create these particular circumstances. The current situation serves as a powerful reminder that nature remains unpredictable and that active volcanoes must always be monitored with maximum attention. Regardless of the official explanation, Mount St. Helens continues to be a formidable geological force, capable of drastically impacting the lives of millions of people. Constant vigilance and respect for the destructive force of volcanoes are essential for the safety of everyone living in the region. For now, we can only wait for the ash to disperse and for the mountain to return to its normal appearance. Time will tell if this was just an unusual meteorological phenomenon or the harbinger of something more significant. Always stay informed about volcanic activities in your region and don't hesitate to follow official safety guidelines. If you found this content informative and want to stay updated on more fascinating discoveries about volcanoes and natural phenomena, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications so you don't miss any news.